back, everybody. Now, y'all know I love animals, uh, whether it's my dogs, Henry and Charlie, or watching all my, I'm obsessed with trail cams on, at my ranch. I just watch wildlife all day long, like a nerd. Um, anyway, I'm also obsessed, though, with people who go above and beyond to help animals in need. That's why we've teamed up with our locally owned NBC station partners for the Positively Good Awards. <laughs> We learned about our next guest from our friends at NBC Bay Area. And in the past decade, she's recruited dozens of volunteers and rescued more than 700 mini horses, which is so incredible. So from Angels for Minis in Walnut Creek, California, everybody say hello to Mary. First of all, thank you so much for your work. Oh, uh, my, my family, we've owned a rescue ranch before, and it's a lot of work like to take care, because usually there's a lot of rehabilitation, they've mm -hmm. been neglected. Like, Thank you so much for doing it, but how did you get into this? Oh my gosh, uh, about 11 years ago, we were with the Bassett Rescue in California, and we were pulling animals out of animal control, hmm. and uh, someone in our local animal control heard that we have miniature horses, and they came in and said, hey, we think you'd be really good at miniature horse rescue. And I said, well, how many a year do you think it would be? They said 10 to 15. We took in over 200 the first year. And they Lies. said, well, can you start with the There's one in the back? There's a lot more. Yeah, they said, can you start with the one in the back? And while we were there, they said, oh, you guys are angels, which is how we became angels for minis. Oh, I love yeah. that. So That's today, a big undertaking. Today, we have taken in over 850. Wow. And we have adopted 833. And most of these are from situations where they're neglected or people just have, like, what, are, what is the usual circumstance? There isn't a usual circumstance. It could hmm. be somebody's bred them and she passed away and the family doesn't know what to do with them. Oh. It could be um, a hoarding situation because you used to not be able to touch a miniature horse for under um, three to $5,000. Mm -hmm. We took in some with receipts for $10,000 that we took in. We've taken in some famous horses um, that were not needed anymore. It could be just where it got out of hand. Um, there's all kinds of situations, or there's experimental breeding and inbreeding going on too. Mm. So um, it could be yeah, a number of dozens things. of different things. Yeah. Well, the need right now is more than ever, right? It's oh so gosh, great. yeah. We cover. We started just in our little county. We now cover the whole western and central United States. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's a lot of work. And so you have to survive with volunteers, right? Oh my God, they are the heart and soul of our rescue. Um, we actually have a location in Texas, and we have two in Walla Creek now. That's amazing. I think what people probably realize when they volunteer as well is it's very healing to work with animals. And it's very, like, you know what I'm saying? If they're coming, it's, you're, you're both getting something out of it, the animal and the human. You totally understand. <laughs> yeah. Because we say the horses teach us more. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, than they learn from us. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> patience and, and I just, I think animals in general. But um, I, I agree with that. Like, that's why I think the volunteering, it's so important for people to, be a part of for yourself. It does something for you that I don't think people realize until you're in it. So where do you keep and how do you keep like all, that's a lot of horses. Yeah, Yeah. we have, well, um, in Walnut Creek, first we deal a lot with Texas. Yeah. So we go out there about every three months and bring a herd back. We have a herd coming in this weekend. Wow. And we had one come in four weeks ago. Then we, um, they go to a quarantine, which is our other ranch. And then they come up to um, the Oh, God, that one always makes me cry. Aww. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Cisco. Yeah, we just got a whole group in um, that looked like him mm -hmm. when he came in, skin and bones. We can't even make a little tail for him because <laughs> he did have a tail. Oh. Yeah. So he's now a therapy horse. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They, and people, that's the sad thing is I know a lot of, with our ranch too, it was like, they would be like racehorses, but then they're just not needed anymore, so nobody cares yeah. about them anymore. Like, you know, that happens a lot of times, and it's like, there's still much use, like, for this animal, for us, for all... I just think it's really beautiful what you're doing, and y'all basically have to run on donations, right? We are slowly, we're 100% solely run on donations, and 100% wow. of that is nonprofit and goes directly to the horses. We're having to turn our current ranch because the situation has gotten so out of control that more horses are coming in with medical needs than ever before and things vets haven't even seen before. Wow, it's so important what you're doing. It's really beautiful. Um, our friends at Ariat, um, one of the top equestrian brands in the world, love what you're doing to help many horses in need. So they are donating $5,000. Oh my God. To Angels for Many. And just so you know, that that actually was me. That was Aria. But what I'm what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna double it because I love what you're doing and I know how hard oh it is. God. I know how much money it costs. So I'm gonna double I do not that. Have to do that. No, no, I love it. 
It's so important. It's so important. Everybody, for more information on the Positively Good Awards, and also, what is like, is there a website that people can go to if they want to donate money or time, or is there anything? Angel, Angels for Minis, um, our Facebook page, our website, any of those can take you to that. For more information on the Positively Good Awards, everybody, and how to nominate an animal lover you know, head to our show's Facebook page.